Hello lovely so welcome to my channel today. So in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make that simple but classy dress which I stumbled upon on Instagram and I decided to make a tutorial on it. And this is the material that I'm working with. I have this fabric of my which is one and a half yard. I have my bra cups. I have this um little design which I'll be attaching to the neck and I have my zipper and that's all you need for this tutorial. So I'll go ahead and draft the basic bodies for this dress. So I have drafted a normal basic bodies and that is all. And I'll just go ahead from that point, which is my bust point. I'll come in by um half inch and I connected that line all the way to my under bust. And once I'm done doing that, I brought one of the cups, I placed it directly on the under bust, making sure that the edge is touching the half an inch where I can which I can aim by. And I'm just going to choose this out like this. Just exactly like this. This is how I'm going to trace this out. So having done that, I'll go ahead now and come in by half half inch on the bra cup which I already traced out, just like this. I'll come in by half an inch. Yeah, so after doing this, I'll just go to the shoulder point from the edge of my shoulder. I see where I'm pointing. I'm going to connect or draw a straight line, connect it to that half inch where I came by in on the bra cup, which I traced out earlier on. So you can see, having done this, I'll go ahead now to start imputing all my measurements. My balls divided, my bust circumference divided by four, either 1.5 inch stitching allowance I connected. So once I'm done with this, that's all for this. I'll go ahead and cut out. So now I'll go for my neckline. I'll go for my neckline. And okay, please, I added a um, half inch joining allowance that's um my half length is 15 inches so i added half inch joining allowance so you see i'm cutting this out right from that from that my shoulder where i made a straight line from that my shoulder to the half inch that's the part where i'm cutting out and this is exactly how you should cut out as well to get that shape which we saw on the gown and I'm done cutting this out, so I'll go ahead and do for the back. And this is the back. I'll just briefly explain. So at the armhole part, I came in by one inch because this is actually going to be a sleeveless dress, and I want it to be inside. So I gave half inch zipper allowance for the top part of my dress, and I went up by five inches. You can see the way I connected this. So um, at the end of the day, the way which I connected from my waistline upward, I'm going to cut out exactly like that and that will be my zip curve. So I went ahead to cut out and this is what I have. So I'll go ahead now and draw for my skirt part of this gown. So of course at that point, I marked half inch joining allowance for the top. I divided my waist into four. I marked it and here's my hip length which is nine inches. I marked my knee circumference. To get your knee, so your knee length, you're going to measure your knee and subtract 4 inches from there. And that's how to determine your knee length. So that's what I did. So I'll go ahead to start imputing on my circumference. I have my waist divided by 4. I have my hip circumference divided by 4. I added 1 inch sewing allowance. So once I'm done with all of this, after marking this, I'm going to cut all of this out. You can see right so i'm done i'll just cut this out and i'll get another paper place this my front part of my skirt on top of it and cut out as well so i'm just marking one inch for my zipper um allowance that's so i've now connected with my ruler so this is what i was saying so from that one inch where i marked that's exactly where i placed my um my front skirt part of this gown and i cut out exactly this way so i went ahead to give it my butt curve and 
that's all for this tutorial maybe my next tutorial i will show you so i go ahead and cut all of this on my fabric and and i've cut on my fabric so now we'll be cutting for the cups like covering for the cups so you're going to fold this into four like you're cutting for um you want like you're cutting a fill right so i just folded this into four and i went ahead to mark seven inches just like this and once i'm done i'm going to cut this out exactly like this so once i'm done i'm going to open this up like this and you, you mark one inch at the two ends and you kind of connect this to the midpoint of the piece which you just cut out and i'll go ahead and cut this like this can see what I have right so this is how you should cut out as well and we're going to cut um eight of this because um these two now will be covering for the front part of the dress so we're cutting for the um main fabric and for the lining as well so we're having eight pieces of that so now we place this right side facing each other just like this and you're going to stitch from the top to the bottom part and decide the way you want to place it but my i want to place it straight so it's going to be straight i'm going to stitch on the um, half inch left on the bra cup and you can see i've already gone ahead to do that and you can see how the back looks like and i pinned that down before um stitching is actually so now we want to cover the cup so um we brought the other um uh, the other bra cup which you already had and i'm going to stitch again from the inside like this please don't stitch from the front because if you stitch from the front it's actually going to end up having your bra cup being as flat as anything you can imagine so this is how you are supposed to sew and i i stitched the top part of this cup so turning it this is what i will have so i'll go ahead and cut off the excesses can see right so turning it this is what i have so had it been next year from the um up like from the top part of this um bra cup without the inside it would have been very fly by the time i bring it out so now having done this i'll go ahead to trim out the excesses from the side because at this point now i'm trying to use the other piece which is acting as my lining to cover this up totally hope you understand what i mean So this is how you have to cover and from that inside again you're going to also stitch on the same half inch and I've gone ahead to do this and the next thing I'll do is just to cut out the excesses as well and we are done covering this bra cup. We are done covering this and this is exactly how you should be. Can see how fine it's looking and it's looking on it and i'm um, fine so now I'll show you how to attach this to that dress so remember that when we are cutting um on that bra cup um after cutting we came in by half inch right yes so that half inch is what you're going to place on that line which we marked sorry on the line like the half inch where we um where we had to sew on our bra cup so if you measure it you notice that it's ha i'm half inch so that's the half inch i'm going to place exactly on all those parts which we sew on um the bra cup so just like this you're going to place it from the beginning that's from the one side to the other i advise you start from the part facing the armhole all the way you pin down to the neckline and you are going to stitch from the inside if you are stitching from the top part you are actually going to end up having this flat as anything you can imagine and you wouldn't like it so i went ahead to do for the two parts and you can see what i have we are done with the top part of this um, dress so I'll move over to the skirt part and i've gone ahead to make a slit but i didn't record this but i'll explain so when i cut out um 
on my fabric like the skirt part of this dress i folded you know, remember it's unfold already so um i went ahead to come in by um two and a half inches like from the folded edge there where my hand is pointing so after marking two and a half inches i went up by seven inches but it's totally up to you you can go up by eight times or ten inches but i don't want my slit to be too much because my gown is not really long like the one the red one on the thumbnail so i'll go ahead now bring these two together like this and i'm going to join with the half half inch joining allowance which i gave earlier on for the top and for the skirt i hope you understand so after joining this um this is what i came up with please don't mind the blurry kind of video it was already getting dark at this point so this is it and now i'm done with this i'll move over to my back part i'll go ahead to pipe the neckline and the armhole and i piped only the neckline for the front part but the back i'm piping the neckline and the armhole so after doing that after um piping i'll bring one part of um the skates and i'll be joining them to the back piece differently like okay, you bring the right right hand side of your back back dress you join it with the um with the left hand side of your skirt i hope you understand so that's what i'll be doing and that's the explanation i was trying to give so after joining this i'll go ahead and fix my zipper and i always like fixing my zipper i don't like um unzipping my zipper actually and i went ahead to pin like this and i'm going to sew very 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 close to um the zip area i don't know if you understand so after zipping this is what i uh, sorry after um attaching my zipper and this is what i have as you can see we are almost done with this dress so i get the front part of this dress i will place it right side faces facing each other at the back and i'll join at the shoulder area um after joining the shoulder area I will measure the the sides. I will put my measurements. Here we are going to be dividing by four now. Since I have a box of thirty six, you are going to be dividing by two. Sorry, not four. Okay. So that's basically it. And I will go ahead and use that little design for the neck parts. And I really do apologize for not um showing how I did that here. But trust me, it's not hard. You're just going to make use of um a sewing gum like the B B sixteen or that gum and that's all for it so here is the final look of this dress it's a simple and classy dress thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and see you same time this same channel bye